Welcome back to Hillaby Creek. Today we're going to cut down some trees and make a path from the field over to the road so we don't have to keep driving through the yard. So, as first things first, we'll get in our pickup and uh, we'll hook up to our little logging trailer. reverse right into there open the gate bought this little logging trailer I knew it'd come in handy at some point we'll get this hooked up I've already uh, adjusted our fence so that we know right where we want it to come out at the road. I went ahead and uh, marked what trees we need to remove to make this path. There they are. So we'll park this right here on standby. So all these trees that have the blue X on them going down that way. This is where our new our new path is going to be. Go ahead. Got our trusty axe. I'll get these trees cut down and delimbed and uh, cut to length. And then we'll try to load them up on the trailer. Should be pretty short. So I'm hoping we can pick up everything. If not, we'll have to figure it out or we'll just cut them even smaller. I'll go ahead and do all this. And then I'll get back with you once we're ready to load up. Here's a new gate. This will be where our path meets the road. So come in here, go right through this area that we just cut down the trees. I think that'll be plenty wide enough. I'm right through here, right to the field. And then I also want the path to turn and go around the field. That way, if we do plant crops in here, there's, uh, we won't be driving through. Come around this way. And I think I wanted to take out, yeah, just this one tree here. That'll be it for trees. I'll go ahead and get this one cut up. I'm trying to, uh, everything to about two meters that way I think we will be able to pick up all the logs and they should fit nicely on that trailer that we have 
honestly not sure. I know that there's somebody in town that'll buy these logs, but I'm not 100% sure where they are. So I'll finish cutting this one. We'll go load up our first load of logs. It's gonna take several trips, I assume. So we'll load up this first load and then uh, figure out where we're selling them. I mean, actually, two meters might even be able to fit in the back of the truck. Might be able to double dip with that. I guess we probably could have went two and a half meters. Now we know for next time. All through. All that good. Okay. Get this all loaded up nicely. Make it so it's easy to go down the road. Don't want it too overloaded and dipping on us because it's a pretty small trailer. Small trailers have a tendency to, to tip. You overload them. It's a pretty high riding trailer for how narrow it is. So hit the first corner and boom, our logs are all over the highway. That wouldn't be good. I think we can fit maybe two between the trailer and the uh, and the truck bed. Fit two full trees this size. Which is what? Three or four total trips to wherever we sell this. Come on. I'm getting there a little nicer than that. The down flat. There we go. Brian, to make it nice. That'll work. All right. Not the best. Yeah, there we go. Squeeze it in there. Everybody think thin thoughts. Then we get to the buyer. Then you want to be as heavy and big as you can be. All right. We can do... Just stacking wood. I do like it when it stacks nicely and isn't all over the place. We're getting into the gnarly parts of these trees that are kind of crooked logs. Our stack might fall apart here at the top, but we've done pretty good so far. These are kind of bent looking logs. I don't know how nice they'll stack. Oh, not bad, not bad. Like we got one more layer on top, maybe. We're above our poles there, so let's not make it even a full layer. Nice narrow layer. One more after this to stick. Maybe two. Maybe two. And we might fit this whole thing. Plan never survives first contact with the enemy, right? Get an idea in your head what you want to do. Start doing it. Realize either you can do it better than you expected, or you're going to have to swap your plan around and do something a little different. But yeah, we'll fit this whole, we'll fit this whole logs right on here. Then uh, I think we'll drive down to the other side of the field and grab that small tree that we cut down. See if I can fit that in the bed of the truck, because then that'll save us a bit of a trip, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? All right. Strap this off. That looks good. Nice and solid. All right. Get this turned around. Go get this little tree, stick it in the bed. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we might be able to get it in one more trip. If we put all the thicker logs on the trailer and then put all the thin upper logs in the bed of the truck, 
Let's see, can we pick you up? Yes, we can. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Gonna work out even better than I expected. Um, so, we're gonna need to buy two pieces of equipment today. I wanna buy a stump remover and a cultivator. That's what we're gonna use to clear the land back here to actually make the, the path, the road. And I went online shopping and we need, I think it was 6,500. So we'll have plenty of money after selling all these logs. Do that and still, um, still know that we have enough for our loan payment. What I realized, okay, that's the stump, so we got it all. What I realized was that we're paying more in interest right now than we are in loan payments. So if we do make a good, decent bet off these logs, I might even want to um, see if I can pay down that loan a little bit. Or we might save for a piece of land. I don't know. Six of one, half dozen of the other. But let's find out. Who's buying wood? Wood. Ooh, everybody's buying wood. The sawmill. Paying an excellent price. Where are you? And on this side of the river? I do not see it. Phantom Sawmill. Let's see. We go and look. Find it. That's the animal dealer. Let's load the train. I can't. We found it all. Oh, there we go. There's the sawmill. Okay. Just down this end of town. Over here. Alright. So we'll loop through. See if we can actually sell there. Let's head over there. See what we can do. Okay, we made it to the sawmill, but I don't think, I don't think they're actually buying. Yeah, I don't think they're actually buying today. I don't see a trigger over here at all. That stinks because they had a really good price. Let's see who's next. Carpentry. Let's tag that place, see if they want to actually buy some wood. Is that a real place? It's over there. This looks like a working sawmill. Ooh, I do have one idea. Let me try something 
see if I can get this functioning. Give me one moment. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I figured it out, but also it's not going to work like that. Apparently on this map, the only way some of these function is if you buy them. But if you buy them, then you have the production point and you can't sell to it. But that is interesting. I just set it so that we bought that. Um, just to see if it would work. I remembered something in the description. But that stinks. And that's why when you start the game, you own on this map all sorts of production chains. Which is weird. We're going to deactivate that because we're not using it. So that's an interesting take. So I think the only things we can actually sell to are the sell everything points, which is sad, but it is what it is. We can untag that. Where is the sell everything? What is that? That's the one at the animal dealer. Uh, what's the other one? Sell oh, all point. That's got to be the one at the farmer's market. I don't see it popping up. Okay. So. I guess we sell. Let's see something. Alright, so I figured out a workaround. We now have this area to sell wood. I don't know how much they're buying it for, but it's probably not what the other one stated it's for. You. You. Wood. Uh, 2,919. So raid in with everything else. I think that's the one. That'd be the one that we're at. Oh, no. That wood board and furniture cell. Where do you and what do you take? That's what we have. Wood board. And... Oh, we might actually just be able to sell it there. Hold on, let's see. How much were they buying for? Twenty nine nineteen. That's the one that's right next to us. Carpentry. All right, we're just we're just gonna sell it here. This is what we got. This is our new spot. And there's another new carpentry over there. Doesn't matter. Spell points on this map are a little goopy. Blinking. Untag. There we go. All right, we're selling the wood here. We made two thousand four hundred and sixty seven dollars. And it missed a piece of our wood. Let's unstrap our straps. Put this piece over here. Well that last little piece for a hundred bucks. Hey, nobody said this map was perfect. But we'll make it work. We're going to stick the the thicker of the dumps or logs in the trailer and all the thin logs I think we have three trees yet, right? So we'll pick the thick in the trailer. Can I pick you up? I can. Nice. Wasn't sure on that biggest tree we'd be able to pick it up. 
So we'll do that. I think we have one more tree over there, don't we? There's these two. Yeah. And then this third tree here. How about you? Can I pick you up? Beautiful. All right. The two meters was the right size to cut these, I think. Any bigger, and I don't know if I could have picked some of these up. Uh, there. But we'll try to get all three of these in one. Like this size here and smaller can go in the bed. Doo -doo. Just yeet them all in the bed. It'll be fine. Then we can just make one more trip. Hopefully afford a trout lifter. Trailer filled up a little quicker than I thought it was going to. Let's pull forward. Could have stacked those a little bit neater. Let's see. Oh, don't do that. There we go. A little bit more space. Yeah, that'll work out. I think that'll be okay. Quite a bit, but that's all right. There we go. Need to adjust the logs a little bit. Nice, dense, packed wood. And these can go in here. Up in there. Oop. Now this seems like an appropriate load. So we're not going to take this. We're going to put one more tree in here on top of this. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Uh, what do we got? One more log here. You for the bed. Jump in. Wasn't sure if you could uh, hold alt and do everything at once or not. Not with straps, apparently. All right, that's good for that. The last of this wood loaded up. Oop. Go. Start loading on the other side. That would be a little precarious. It'll be fine. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There ish. It's a pretty little tree, too, so that'll be okay. Pick one more up there. little gap. Wrapped off before these logs decide to dance all over the place. Last handful in the bed. All right. That is that. Oh, you get nicer. There we go. All right. That one, do that one, we'll get turned around here, then we'll go, then we'll go, and we'll sell everything, nope, that was the wrong button, that button, there we go, turn it on, alright, we'll go sell all this stuff.
All right, let's see what we get from this. 3,500, 3,454. Brings us to 6,700. So we still don't have enough to buy that trout lifter. So maybe I'll just get them to deliver that. We'll pay the fee, get them to deliver it to the farm, and we'll use it from there. So I'll meet you back back at the farm. Okay, we're back at the farm. I had the store deliver the uh, cultivator and the stump grinder that we bought. I want to pull these out so that we can fan the yard over here a little bit while we're doing this. One more to grab, and then we'll jump in the tractor and get working. Oh, that was the wrong button. There we go. And go park the truck. I think we're done with this for the day. Leave our truck parked right there. All right, close the gate behind us. All right. Let's get to work. Like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is use the cultivator, clear the land. Mm, the color matched all right. Probably as close as we were going to get. Not that that's important, just aesthetically pleasing when your things match. Thinking like maybe right to the in line with the back of the shed there. So if we drop that down, hit that, pull this right out. Well, we're still gonna have some stuff left, but that's okay. Can't win them all. Let's get these stumps gone. If 
start with this one over here. Where'd you go? There it is. Blunk, blunk. Ooh, we got stuck on it. I'll have to go from the other side. Back up to it. Okay. So, we turn this on and drop it down. Go back and forth. Grain that stump away. Nice. looks better than it did. Gives us an alternate route to get over here to our equipment into our field without having to drive machinery through the yard. That's nice. And we were able to make just enough money off of uh, off of selling our trees that we cut down to fund the equipment to do our project. So self-funding projects are the best kind of projects. This dropped off. Go park the tractor. Great. Well, I'm happy with that. The job well done. Turn the tractor off. See what have we got? One or two months to go before we can cut the grass. Do, 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 do. So we can cut it next month, or if we wait, we can cut it the month after, and I think we get a higher yield. So we'll see. We'll see what we do. Um, yeah, and then we'll wait until after we cut that and see what money, because at that point we shouldn't need to buy anything for for the grass or making hay at that point. But since we'll be able to do a harvest without spending money, we might actually be able to start saving money, and that would be excellent. But I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Let me know what you think. Sorry the, uh... We're figuring out where to sell the wood got a little goofy, but we got there in the end. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.